Hello everyone, welcome back to Kerbal Space Program. Uh, I'm gonna attempt, quote attempt, oops, to send a rover to Duna. The only problem I have is I've never been able to get a orbits around Duna. I've had an encounter, but I couldn't get the orbit. I didn't have enough uh, fuel. I think I'm going to with this, but yeah. Uh, I do need to do a test to make sure the staging works, because when I tried to send this to the moon, uh, the staging was off, and I ended up crashing because of that. Yeah, probably gonna. Yeah, that's what I want. Should still be fixed from. Or I think it's fixed. Because I remember messing with the staging after the moon landing. It didn't work out. So, without further ado, let's test this out. Don't want it to be too loud. Yeah, let's, let's see. I did have six uh, boosters on here, but it was too. It was like really shaky. And it would spin a lot. So, yeah, I took the I, uh, took those off. I might put some mini solid rocket boosters on. I don't think I'm gonna need it though. All right, let's go. Probably should gain a little bit of altitude. So you have a little bit of time to get the staging off. It still does spin a little bit with this design, but I'm going to put some RCS tanks on it. I did put little ones on it, but that didn't give me much fuel. And I'll put more RCS thrusters on it. Somewhere. Nope. Let's see how this is going. Oh, yeah, I think we'll be fine. I think Duna does have a lighter atmosphere, but I can always use the throttle more. Just making sure this is going to work before I waste all this time trying to get there, if I even can. Oh, that's what I don't want to happen. Uh oh, did it break? Yeah, yeah, it did. And it can't repair itself, can it? Yeah, it broke. Let's see if it's still going to work if it's broke. No, it's not, because those wheels are all broke too. Yeah, oh, great. Well, hopefully the parachute doesn't do that. Oh, wait, I forgot to disconnect the sky crane. Whoops. I'll have to remember to do this. Alright, that should be easy. Don't care where that goes after we land. Anyways, let's see where Duna's at. I'm pretty sure you need to be at a 45 degree angle to get an encounter, I think. At least that's what I've seen. Dang it. Let's take a look and see where it's at. Uh, it looks more like a 30 to 25. Probably 
go somewhere so we can time warp. Yeah, I'm gonna go just make a random ship and uh, time warp. Wait, no, wrong way. Yeah, we're probably gonna have to go around once and then stop right in here. And then our, I guess we'll be in the same spot, but this will have moved to about here, maybe. I don't know. I'll come back to you when I get that where it's supposed to be. All right, I got the uh, planets lined up. But one second, sorry, my computer got really hot. I don't know if you can hear the fan, but anyways, now I will attempt to uh, send the rover there. Hopefully it's successful. Can't guarantee. It'd be awesome if it was. It would also be my first uh, Duna landing. This is picture this. Yeah. I think I can. I kind of think I should dump one of these. You know what? Yeah, you know I'm gonna redesign this really quick because I don't think I need all that power to get there because there's no lander and all that ever extra heavy weight. Just a little car. So that let's see those two, those three fire. And wait, where's the fuel lines? So, see, it looks like I'm. You know what? No, wait. Yeah, I'm just gonna redo this bottom stage. Because I don't think I need all those extra boosters and whatnot. I think it, it'll be better to do this. Oh, oh I forgot to put RCS. I think it'll be better if I put uh, liquid boosters. They give me better weight to fuel ratio, something like that. I know I want. You get uh, this. Um, I'll probably just go ahead and use the more powerful engine. That is right. Yeah, max power two fifty. Yeah, not by not by much, but actually no. I'm gonna use these because even though they have less power, they're way more fuel efficient. I'm pretty sure they are. I've only used them like two times, maybe, but I'm, yeah, I think they're way more fuel efficient. Looks weird. Oh. And then I'll just copy this. Where's the? Here it is. If you don't know how to copy, you just hold Alt and click, like what I just clicked the strut or the um the the side decoupler thing. Let's 
that's two. No, that's two. Right. I think I might be able to fit eight on here. Or more, actually. I don't know. Um, that'd be better. gonna work. Wait, maybe it will if I move this one. Yes, that will work. Dang, that's a lot of boosters. I'm starting to think this might be a little too overpowered. Huh. Wow, I never would have thought you could fit so many boosters on. Ow. Oh. I figure all this staging out. Alright, I think I got all this figured out. Now I just need to do a quick test. Oh, I need to put these on here first. But after that, I just need to do a quick test. And then should be ready to go. Can I get hit? Hope the wing doesn't hit that. Ah, that's not a good idea. Let's see what we're working on. Oh, I know. That was again. Nope. That should be enough just to hold it for a second. Let's see, all those engines fire in the same stage. All of these do. You know, I'm kind of afraid this is going to overheat. I don't know. Oh, what did I just do? Kind of messed that up. I don't even know what I did, but I meant to save it. Uh, looks like everything's still in the right stage. No, I think one of the engines moved. No, it didn't. Okay. Alright, you know, I'm just going to test this instead of wasting time looking through the stages. Just need to make sure all everything work and then I relaunch or I guess if it's all working I'll just continue launching oh I didn't put RCS on here I knew I was forgetting something that looks a little unstable it's just because it's on the connect the things I hope whoa, whoa 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 yeah that was a bad idea Yeah, I didn't think that was going to work. Uh, I don't know what to do then. Let's see. Let's get rid of that. that. Uh, I don't know. Because even if I put it all the way up here, when it pulls back, it's still going to hit the wing. Oh, I need to put RCS on here. I forgot about that. Six. Can never have enough RCS.
That should be good. Uh, I don't. I think it's gonna be too heavy to sit on the one engine. I can try this old trick though. I don't know if it'll still work in the updated version. Wait, oh. This. Try that. That's what you used to be able to do in the demo in the old version. Or the older version. To, if you had a heavy rocket, to not let it fall over or that was before they had the other uh, launching tools. Is, this, is it leaning? It looks like it is. Alright, let's go. Huh. That thing seems to be going good. No, it's okay. Just don't want it to get up here. Figured it was gonna over like overheat really quick because there's so much. There's so many engines. How many are there anyways? Let's see. One, two, three. Let's have to count like this. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, I think. Or twelve. Probably should have had these boosters drain into here. But we would have lost them already, probably. Wasting a little bit of fuel. All right, let's do a turn. Easy. Not that much. Bad idea. Do not turn off CSN. Bad idea. That's a. There. That's all I wanted to do. Oh, that's the space plane thing I made. Not space plane, just a little module sitting in the runway. And I believe once I'm in orbit, I'm supposed to launch, to get to do it, I'm supposed to launch like right around this corner, like right as it starts to get dark. I don't know. I'll have to check that out. I figured the engine would like melted in real life, it probably would have. Probably gonna move a little bit by the time we get to our FOFs. Oh, boy, we should do that. Stay there. Don't move. Don't move.
only thing I'm worried about is when I separate these, it's gonna like knock into this engine or something. great amount of fuel. Didn't think that out properly, but I should have enough with my cruising stage. If I can get that to go. I can just use the RCS2. If I can get it to stay there. No, no, no. You know what? Forget this. I have enough to get there. Now I'm going to have to come up with a whole new rocket design. Pouch is a little squeaky. Alright, 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 good, good. Now. I think I have to wait till I go around and then like right here maybe let's see don't really know how to I've never been able to figure this out I've even watched tutorials on it but okay, how does this escape let's see I want to target oh come back So if I can figure this out properly, I'm pretty sure you use this marker, but I don't really know. Still, I don't know how to use this maneuvering system. And I hope I have enough power to get there, and I don't lose all my fuel, because I'm going to need some to get an orbit. Most likely, I'm probably going to have to build a different rocket or just use the rocket I used for the moon tutorial. Oh crap, where's my... Oh, it's over there. But yeah, I'll probably have to use the rocket I used for the moon tutorial because that's like a long distance rocket. And with this little rover on it, it should be easier. Great, I already missed it. That's what you get for not paying attention. Yeah, there's no way I'm gonna have enough fuel. Uh, well, actually, I could use the RCS, but I don't think that's gonna give me enough power. No, and I need a. Well, I guess I don't really need any to for the landing, so I might have enough to doubt it, but who knows? I'll have to wait and see. Alright, so I pre I'm pretty sure that my closest approach, oh wait, no, I just now realized I went out too far, but that 
should be where I want it. That's where I want it to be. So now that I just realized that, I'll fix that right as I turn the camera back on. I noticed that was too far out. I think I might just barely have enough fuel if I can get a close enough encounter. Wait, why is that adding? It must be the wrong way. Oh, I didn't think it was, but. And so much for the RCS, for some reason I'm out of it. It must have used it from the rover first. Or the rover tank first, instead of uh, the rocket tank. Could this be any slower? Now, wait a minute, I thought I was on the right path the first time. But okay, I guess I am on the right one this time. I thought I was going to have enough fuel, but maybe not anymore. Since I have to waste so much on this. I'm going to try to do something else. I'm going to try to bring this close to here so I can catch up to it and maybe I'll encounter. Doubt it. Like I said before, I'm, I'm horrible at getting to these other planets. The only ones I'm. The only planet I can consistently get to easily is the moon. I think I just got lucky with Minimus when I crashed there. Well, actually, no, I did encounter Minimus twice, but the first time uh, I didn't have enough fuel. I would think we'd almost encounter it right here, maybe, or it would be like a sort of thing. Or even right now, why not right now? Am I too low? No? Now once I get to here, I'm going to burn the same way I've been going. Sorry. Did this freeze up when I like it? Yeah, it did. Great. Well, so much for that. I don't know if you saw my other video, I was telling you about how it freezes up for some reason, like, it didn't freeze, but I can't use any controls. It's, like, completely done. Yeah, anyways, in my other video, I was talking about how I did this when I was trying to go to the moon, and now it's, like, locked out. I even tried reloading it and everything. It doesn't do anything. <sighs> Well, sorry about that. I didn't expect that to happen. I guess I'm just going to have to wrap this episode up now. Hopefully in the future we can get to Duna. I don't know. 
Uh, I still really don't know why it's freezing up like this. I'm gonna have to figure that out. So, um, so uh, yeah, I'll see you next time.